Okay guys, so Ricky's been out of town for a little while and he's been studying to be EMS and psychology and all this good stuff. He's now full qualified, so I've had a text message from a patient. City Hospital. Here currently. So this is our patient that we've got today, we're going to do some psychology stuff, he's going to talk to me. As always guys, if you're enjoying these videos, please hit um, the, the subscribe button, comment and like on the videos. He's done so well so far, you've got me about 130 subs, just keep on coming well with this. The love and that just means a lot to me, because I didn't think I would get this far, but i keep on doing it. I'm hoping to get more Ricky to keep subs, so what I'm hoping for. Not 2k subs, 200 subs is my next goal. So let me just take some and find out where he is. Hi there, are you the psychologist patient? Uh, yeah, no, that's me. Okay. I'm Dr. Ricky Lafleur. Hello, my name's Billy. And there's a handshake for you, sir. So, sure. I would like to welcome you to your. I, I heard that you've been referred. So today's session, we're going to chat through everything that's happened, and you're, I'm just going to tell you solutions how to fix it, and hopefully you never feel this again. Okay. okay. The guy that the, the hospital said you should only need one appointment of therapists, and then you should be fine. Okay. So if you just follow me up to my office. It's up at the very top floor, by the way. Okay. Oh, so I've got my hands up. <laughs> yeah, it's up at the very top floor. Quite a lot of running to do. Yeah. Or you could be athletic like me. I'm not that athletic. I'll meet you up at the top floor. Yep, so if you just follow me, sir. So it's just round here. Come in and take a seat. Have a seat down here. So, um, hello. I'm just going to come around here and sit on this couch here. You, you could do your slash E sit chair muscle and sit on the couch. How do I get back up? My body's not letting me. I'm going to sit here. Okay, so. So, why have you been referred to me today, sir? Well, it all started after I got injured while well, watching you on TV. I got out of the hospital. I was released from the hospital, and there was the other guy who was released alongside with me. And then all of a sudden, he just pulled a gun out on me and demanded that I put my hands up. And then he started shooting at my legs. And he just kicked me and kept punching me, and it hurt so bad. Okay. Well, can you explain the whole event that went from the part of you getting told to put your hands up for me? Well, I got out of the hospital, and this other guy was right behind me. He looked like he used to work for, like, a sanitation office. But he had, like, this machine gun, and he aimed it at me, and he said, If you don't do what I say, I'm going to kill you. And I, yep. I just didn't want to die, so I went along with what he told me to do. Mm-hmm. And then he basically just kept telling me what to do. And then another officer came and then he shot at that officer. And then he was all with free gunfire. Okay. 
So I believe you met my cousin, um, Ricky, who's a trained EMT and that as well. Yeah, I saw him. He's the one who referred me to you. I'm Dr. Lafleur. Not going to disclose my first name because it is not necessary. Okay, nice to meet you. But, um, so... Uh, how long have you been in PD for? Uh, yesterday was my first day. I'm a trainee. You're a trainee, okay. So, there's, there's going to be a lot worse things than this that will happen in PD, is what I'm going to tell you. So, if you ever feel yourself getting overwhelmed like this, what the best way to do is take a deep breath and go, you could do this. You picture it's like a normal day, like nothing else. PD, you're meant to you be brave, you be strong, you'll be fine. Obviously, you get psychological issues if you get take hostage and all this, and there is methods that you could relieve this by taking deep, deep breaths is one of them to relieve it. And a couple of other things will help too. It'll help you feel better. And if you want, you can try meditation, going for a walk. I don't like meditation. Meditation, I said, not medication. Oh. Like yoga, if you like them. But. Um. Or you can go on walks along places like the beach when you're off duty and do things like that to make you feel better, to take your mind off it and relieve. Do you smoke or take any drugs by any chance? No. Do you drink alcohol? No. Only at a party or something, but not on a regular daily basis. Okay, that's good, that helps. So, um, a good way to do that is go for a walk. Have you got friends in the city? Okay. So, um, how 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 many can, was there any other stressful calls you received yesterday? Well, not really. It wasn't as bad as the guy being called hostage. Although I did get hit by a helicopter. You got hit by a helicopter. Jesus. Um. Okay, um, the, what do you do when you spend your time off duty? Uh, I like to race cars. Okay. Do you do it legally? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. I thought I was going to have to call the cops there. Um, so if you do things, that'll take your mind off it. And when you're in the situation, just pick, just follow what they say and all that, and you won't die. They shoot you, you just be brave. Yes, as a PD officer, you will have to deal with getting shot at because you get some scummy criminals, if you get me. Yeah. They like to shoot at you and be dickheads. Yeah. But as a part of being a police officer, you need to follow through with it. Get on with it as your job is protecting the city. Obviously, there's a thing you can call. Have you got an emergency backup thing you could say or anything? Like, because there should be a panic button on your radio. I called him for backup, but then he started shooting at the other officer, too. Yeah, did it turn into a gunfight? Yeah, and he killed the other, and he killed the guy. He killed the suspect. Okay, so that's fine. At least he won't deal with, you won't have to deal with him again. As he's dead. I hope so. Well, if he's dead, you won't have to deal with him again. Yeah, but the nightmares will keep occurring. Yep, and then I'm going to give you some medication today to, that you're going to have to take to get rid of that. But we'll talk about that in a bit. Would you like a drink of water or anything? I'm okay. Thank you, though. So, um, have you had any past experience with, like, depression, anxiety or anything? No, I worked as an accountant in a business office. I never had to deal with stuff like this. Yeah, that's a big step up. From being an accountant to being a police. You deal with a lot worse crimes and all that. So, what do you think a good solution will be? I could book in a counselling session once a week 
and give you some medication or I can give you the medication yourself and we could discharge you. How do you feel? Yeah, and you always have my number if you need to re refer back, you can just text me and I can get you booked in. I've moved in, I've been, I moved out of the city for a while because I was doing my psychologist degree. I'm also trained EMT as well, so if any medical needs happen, I am also that too. But I'm back in the city, I might go away in a couple of months, but I don't know if you've met my cousin Melissa as well, she's a bit crazy. Why? What's happening with Melissa? Yeah, I've been dragging out trying to meet her. Why? She's not that bad. From the uh, stories the officers told me, I've heard otherwise. What did? What has she done? Uh, I just killed cops and such. Such run over cops. Oh, yeah. Doesn't surprise me. She's a stripper, by the way. Oh, maybe she wouldn't be that bad then. Yeah, she's, 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 um, yeah, yeah, yeah. She's a stripper, she's also a drug dealer, but don't tell anyone I told you that. Okay. But, uh, I'm gonna go into this cupboard here and grab you some medication to make you feel better. Okay. Just sit here for two seconds. Ah, here it is. So I'm going to give you one dose of it now, just so you can teach it and uh, know how to learn how to do it. So you take one of these pills a day, okay, morning and night time, two a day, one in the morning, one in the night time. So I'm going to hand you the one over for now and then I'll, uh, we'll go down and I'll get you the prescription all written up. Let me just go set my computer and write it all up. Oh shit, I've still got Pornhub on here from earlier. God, that's embarrassing. Okay, I'm just typing out here, I won't be long. Okay, so if you just follow me down the stairs, we'll go down the stairs and get the print out of your uh, your um, prescription. Okay. This this might have some side effects on you. It might when you first take it, it might make you feel a bit tired and everything. Okay. But it will stop you thinking. Open up a store. <laughs> Let's see how it comes. I, I think there's some guy coming with a prescription. I think there was. I need to get extra large con, uh, extra small condoms out for him. Okay, Phil. <laughs> no, it's definitely this fucking vodka. Fuck off. Uh, hello? Can I fucking help you? Uh, I, I have to get some more medication. I, I came down here to see if there's any medication. Did I? Fuck, fuck.
walking in the door. I was recommended by uh, Dr. LaFleur to come here. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I know him. Hand me over that fucking prescription right fucking now. Okay, here you go. Thank you. Extra small condoms and what, pills. What, what? Okay. No. And stay here, I'm going to get your extra small condoms. Uh, 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 okay. Jesus, sir, you got an extra small one down there. Hey, small. Let me see. Uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Hands up. Hands up. Let me see. How small? How small? I swear to God, just show me how small. Hey, you got a small one. <laughs> Why are you so small? Calm down. Stop with a poof. It's only a gun. Bitch. Get the fuck out of the store before I fucking kill you. Okay, 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 okay. Fucking what I thought, bitch.